Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Acknowledge you, and I acknowledge our, our former speaker. Uh, who's, yeah. We have two former speakers. Sorry, two former speakers uh, present here in the chamber today. I rise today to refer to what ethnic community functions are going to see happen over the next few months. After we have had a government that has run fear campaigns around people of Chinese background, fear campaigns around people of African background, fear campaigns around people whose faith is Islam, we now go through the season in the lead up to an election where members of the government turn up to function after function and say, oh, by the way, we weren't talking about you. Where they turn up function after function and say, oh, no, no, when we say we're going to do all these things to immigration, we were talking about those other people, not about you. And I simply want to make clear here in the House today that no one should think that dog whistling works anymore. Yeah. The concept that you can give a coded message and it will only be heard by certain people in the community is not how things work anymore. They aren't dog whistles, they are foghorns. And everybody knows what the government is up to when they use those so-called coded messages. People will not forget a government that tried to introduce as a condition of citizenship, as a condition of citizenship that you would have to pass a university level English test. But not everyone was going to have to pass a university level English test. If you came from an English speaking country, you might have to pass a university level English test, you might not. So there's about 50 countries in the world where English is an official or regular language there. But only five of those countries were exempt from the university level test. They just happened to be the five white English speaking countries. Canada, the United States, the United Kingdom, Ireland and New Zealand. So you can be speaking English your entire life and come from Singapore and you'll need university level English under the law that they all, they all voted for. But if you come from Canada, you won't. That's how they have behaved this term. And when people go to vote at the next election, they need to remember not the fact that the government over the last few months will have suddenly said all the right things at community events, but remember that this is a government that has behaved, they've behaved this way the entire term and will be trading preferences with Pauline Hanson at the election. 